It was 12.37 in the morning when I'd been called to visit a crime scene in which a murder had occurred. Kenny Samuels was strangled in his own cold blood just outside his home and left lifeless on the ground. Glass was everywhere. It was almost like a fight had broken out. I can still picture that empty pale face staring into nothing. Could send shivers down anybody's spine. After looking into the small details found at the moment, we do have five suspects who could be the killer of this very gruesome crime. There is definitely so much more to discover and find out, and I, Inspector Malone, will be the one to solve this homicide once and for all. Okay, Malone. The first suspect, Miss Jackson, is being sent in now. Remind me of your first name again, Miss Jackson? Amy, sir. And what was the relationship with the victim? I am his ex-girlfriend, Inspector. As you know, Kenny Samuels was killed last night just outside his home. All we know right now is he was strangled in his own blood. We just firstly need to ask a few questions in order to get a good idea of the possibilities. What I shall say to you now is that this is all recorded and so we ask for you to be as honest as you can so we don't make any mistakes in the process. Of course, I understand that. Good. So, Miss Jackson, what were you doing last night? Hmm, let me think. Oh yes, I had a visitor around and had dinner with them. I didn't leave my house that night. And who was this visitor? Uh, just a friend called Mason. Are you sure? Positive, sir. Right, okay. Had you been in contact with Kenny recently? I mean, yeah. We've always been good friends. We talk on and off. His girlfriend Kira isn't too happy about it though. She always gets insanely jealous. Look, Amy. I need you to be honest with me, because otherwise, this is only going to get harder for you. We were just friends. Are you sure? Yes. Okay then, so when did you last see Kenny? Around a little more than a week ago. He needed help and advice with his girlfriend problems, so he came to my house. I just remember him getting a call from his boss, letting him know his best friend was looking for him at work, and him then leaving. Do you know why? No. But he didn't seem happy. Anything else you have to tell me? No, Inspector. Then that's all I need from you right now. Kenny, dear, you can leave early if you wish. Oh, um, are you sure? Why, of course. You are my favourite employee, after all. <laughs> Uh, okay. Kenny, where were you today? I told you you needed to come and clean my house. Mum, I... Also, give me £20. I need to get my nails done. Hold on a moment. Don't speak to your son that way. It's fine, boss. Just call me Jenna, sweetheart. So? Money? I need it though, Mum. Nonsense. Excuse me, I think you should leave. Fine then. Oh, and Kenny? Don't expect to be allowed near the house anytime soon. You'll regret this, you stupid boy. If you think that I killed Kenny, my own son, you're absolutely ridiculous. I didn't like the boy, but I wouldn't murder him. No one is saying you did. We need to ask you some questions due to your relationship with Kenny, as well as recently being involved with him. We need you to be as honest as possible. We're recording, so keep that in mind. I, I really don't understand why I'm involved in this. Mrs. Samuels, please calm down and just answer some questions. <sighs> so, where were you last night? The night of the murder? Honestly, what a ridiculous question. I was at a bar. 
Well then, which pub were you at? Well, the White Dog, of course. It's the only place that does quality stuff. I went there with a friend and we had a few drinks. Right, okay, and what did you do after this? How am I to remember? I was drunk. All I do remember is waking up in Kenny's bed at his house. Obviously, he wasn't there. I didn't know the reason being would be that he was murdered. And you're telling me you don't remember anything else from that night? No. I think that's all I need from you right now. Thank you. Good. I have an appointment booked with a lash technician. I'm lucky to even be on time right now. Right. <clears throat> okay, Mrs. Samuels. You'll be escorted out now. Take care. Be careful. This fur treatment isn't cheap, you know. Team, is there any way we could possibly speak to Kenny's best friend, Max? We will try and get in contact with him now. I think Sam and some of the team are going to his house. Perfect. Yo, Kenny, how are things with Kira like? Is it all good? I guess. I mean, she can get jealous because I'm still friends with Amy and that, but it's going good. I mean, I don't blame her. Meeting with an ex is something I wouldn't allow. What do you mean? Well, don't you think it's weird that you and Amy haven't been split for that long and you're still contacting and meeting her, even though you have a new girlfriend? It's not even a trust thing. I just don't think it's fair. Honestly, what's up with you? Kira isn't even that bad when it comes to me messaging Amy. Plus, she doesn't even know I visit her anyway. Wait, she doesn't know? Does she need to though? Nah, that's not cool. You need to tell her. Nah, it's better this way. I know I'm your mate and all, but I will tell her. That isn't right. You would think the same if it was the other way round. Whoa, chill out. What was that for? Nah, leave. I don't even want to talk to you. Honestly, sort yourself out. Or I will. So, the last time you saw Kenny was when you had an argument in the park? Yes sir, I haven't seen him since. And what were you doing during the night of the murder? Just chilling at home, really. Yes, what else would I be doing? So, did you have any sort of relationship with Kira or Amy? No, I didn't. Are you sure? Yes, why don't you believe me? Look Max, we just need honesty from you. And I am. I, I don't want to answer any more questions right now. <sighs> okay, Max, but this doesn't mean we can't let you go yet. Your behaviour seems suspicious. Security. I, I didn't kill him, I swear. We can't confirm that though. Unless you're ready to talk, we have to keep you here, Max. Fine, fine, I'll talk. Answer that question again then, Max. Do you have any sort of relationship with Amy or Kira? Okay, okay. Me and Kira did become good friends after me and Kenny got into an argument at the park. She came to my house soon after the incident and I told her the truth. She got really upset, but she wanted more proof. After that, she left because she wanted to sort out some sort of plan. I don't know. Anything else? No, Inspector. Okay, well, that's all we need from you right now. Security, escort him, please. We need to find Kira. Dale, team, get on it. This is a very tricky situation and we need answers. Now.